Hi, tipsters. Hi, families. You all did such a great job last week using sentence starters to help you write your short stories. Today, we're going to do the same thing with a different topic. So, I've been home for a while, just like you have. And we've been doing this virtual learning on YouTube, which has been super, super cool. But between recording videos, Ms. Ross has been really hungry. And I've been snacking on a lot of things. But my favorite snack of all were my grapes. Oh, they were so sweet. They're so little. I can get them in different colors. I can mix them up in a salad. They were just so great. So I thought, why not write a short story using sentence starters about my favorite snack to eat while I'm at home? I'm going to use the same sentence starters that you're going to use when writing your short story. And your type is going to be a little bit different from mine, but we're going to look at my model to see how your short story should sound. Sound good? Great. Let's listen to my story and see what sentence starters I use. I said, my favorite snack to eat is grapes. I love grapes because I always have an option of which I can get. I like both green grapes and red grapes. Oh, they're so good because they are both super sweet. Also, I can mix them with other fruits and make a fruit salad. Remember I just told you? I love eating grapes for a snack. I use really specific sentence starters to help me write about why fruit, why grapes are my favorite snack. So at first I told you grapes were my favorite snack. Then I told you why I love them. Let's see. It says I love grapes because I always have an option of which I can get. So I have an option. That's why grapes are so good. I can pick between green grapes or red grapes. Those are my two options. I also said I can mix them with other fruits and make a fruit salad. Well, I added so many details to explain why my favorite snack to eat is grapes. Then I closed my short story and said, I love eating grapes for a snack. So I was able to use sentence starters to help me write a short story about why snack, why grapes are my favorite snack to eat. Your prompt is going to be a little bit different. I think it's even going to be better than mine. Your prompt is your favorite dessert and why. It could be chocolate cake. It could be vanilla ice cream. It could be cookie and cookies and cream ice cream. Ooh, or it could be pound cake. Oh, I love pound cake, especially around the holidays. So let's look at your prompt and look to see what sentence starters you're going to use to help you write your short story. Give Ms. Ross one second as I peel off this poster paper. Great. So like I just said, your prompt is that you're going to write about your favorite dessert to eat and why. Don't just tell me your favorite dessert is chocolate cake. Tell me why. Don't just say your favorite dessert is cookie, cookies and cream ice cream. Tell me why. So remember, your prompt is your favorite dessert to eat and why. These are your sentence starters that you're going to use to help you write your story. Don't worry. You can either push the space bar on your laptop or push the pause button so that you can see your sentence starter and write it without the video having to end. One more time, don't forget you can push the space bar or click the pause button so you can still see what your sentence starters are without having to restart the video all over again. So your sentence starters are, my favorite dessert to eat is blank. On this line, you're going to write whatever your favorite dessert to eat is. So one more time, my favorite dessert to eat is blank. I love it because blank. On this line, give me one reason why you love that favorite dessert. Also, I can blank. Give me another reason why you love your favorite dessert. I love eating, right, the dessert that you picked for dessert. Now I'm going to read your sentence starters without telling you what goes on the lines. Listen up. My favorite dessert to eat is blank. I love it because blank. Also, I can blank. I love eating blank for dessert. So you're going to use these sentence starters to help build a strong short story about your favorite dessert to eat and why. Don't forget, these are some tips you can use to be to go from being a, just a good writer to a great writer. You want to start all your sentences with a capital letter just like I did. 
I have a capital M here, a capital I, another capital I, capital A, capital I, because those are the beginning of each and every sentence in my short story. You're going to end all sentences with a punctuation mark. Punctuation marks can be a period like I did in my story. It could be a question mark if you're asking a question or an exclamation point if you're really, really excited about saying something. You're going to draw a detailed picture with labels. Last week, I saw a lot of really good pictures, but some friends forgot to label their picture. If you have labels, that means you added more details to your picture. And last but not least, sometimes Miss Ross gets to tricky words that I don't really know how to spell, but if I say the word, stretch the word out, and break the word down, I'm able to spell it. Like the word sweet. I didn't know how to spell that on my own, so I said the word sweet. I stretched the word out, sweet, and then I brought the word down. Sweet. And that helped me spell the word sweet. I was able to spell it S-W-E-E-T. Just like I was able to look back in my old Chuck video to help me remember Chucks and tricky words. So remember. Start all sentences with a capital letter, and all sentences with a punctuation mark. That means a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point. You want to make sure, oop, I forgot this one, write neatly. Make sure that when you write, it's so neat that when you send it to your teacher, maybe you can get shouted out in the next writing video. You're going to draw a detailed picture with labels. Make sure it's nice and neat and add colors. And when you get to a tricky word that you don't know how to spell, you're going to say the word, stress the word out, and break the word down to make it easier to try to spell it in your short story. I can't wait to see what favorite desserts you write about and that you pick. Make sure you send them to your teacher. So if you're in A&T, you're going to send it to either myself or Mrs. Ellis. If you're in Southern, you're going to send it to Ms. Schultz. If you're in FAMU, you're going to send it to Ms. Schwartz. And if you're in Hampton, you're going to send it to Ms. Miller. And maybe you'll get shouted out in next week's video. I can't wait to see what you all come up with. Bye, Kipsters. Bye, families.